The most important point about writing a balanced equation is that we must write the correct molecular formulae for the reagents and the products first. When our formulae are correct, we select coefficients which ensure that the number of atoms is conserved for each element. Here's an easy one to start on. First write the correct formulae. Of course. Sometimes the example is easy and we can do it by inspection, but sometimes it isn't so easy. This is a method that will always work, even when the examples get complicated. First consider the hydrogen. Is the equation balanced with respect to hydrogen? Yes. Is it balanced with respect to oxygen? Good work. Atoms are conserved in a chemical reaction, so both oxygens must end up as water molecules, so I need two water molecules to be formed. Now the oxygen is balanced. I've made a change, so I must check the hydrogen again. Is hydrogen balanced? Correct. I now need four hydrogen atoms on the left. Of course. Do a final check. Are the hydrogen and oxygen both balanced? Correct. We now have a balanced equation. Is this what you originally wrote? Try our new method on this example. Good work. There are two nitrogen atoms on the left. How many ammonia molecules must there be? Yes. How many hydrogen atoms are in the two ammonia molecules? Good. So how many hydrogen molecules do we need? Excellent. Finally, check that your equation is balanced. Try this one. Very good.